In this video, I'm going to show you how you can also create websites with Canva from your mobile phone. So for this, we are going to start from the home screen and we are going to search for mobile first website. So typing that in the search bar and we will land on this page right here with a few mobile first websites. So I'm going to scroll back up and select one of the templates this one right here that says healthy at home. So I'm going to tap on this and I have this idea for my business. My business is a hamper business. So I deliver boxes to my clients, to my customers, and they can order online. They will receive their box in the mail within the week. All right. So let's have a look at this template. We see one, two, three, three different pages. So it's a very simple template. But I think this will be perfect to create a very quick and easy website to let my customers know how they can order their hamper, how they can order their box for the week with their different meals. All right, so we are going to start customizing this template. And the first thing I want to do is to reorganize the pages here. So I like the first page, but this about us page should probably come last and not second. So I'm going to put this, the third page in second position and now I'm more comfortable with this. All right, so very quickly, I'm going to show you how to tweak, how to customize this template so it's convenient for our hamper business. So keeping you healthy at home, yes, this is good. The only thing I want to change here is the text here in the middle, pickup and home delivery now available. When I tap on the elements of this design, I see that they are all grouped together. So I'm going to use the ungroup button to ungroup everything. And now everything can be edited individually. So I'm going to start editing the first box right here that says pickup and home delivery. I want to say delicious mail, delicious meals, starting at 7 99. So this looks good. What I will do next is to change the photo in the background. So for this tapping on the background, I will use the replace button here and find another photo that is convenient for me. So browsing the photo tab from the Canva library here. can see here that this text box is a little bit too wide and therefore it's kind of difficult to read the part that is here in the salad. So I'm going to tap on it and reduce the size of this box to about this. All right, so I'm pretty happy about this. Maybe what I can do is to move the elements around slightly. Okay, so I'm going to push this box a little bit down here. Same with this text that needs to stay well aligned in here. Order now. I'm going to keep this call to action. Maybe what I can do is change the color of that box. OK, so when I'm good, I just tap on the done button. And now we have this high contrast box right here, which is my call to action. All right, so I still see that my text here is a bit difficult to read because this part, the 799, is not super visible. So what I will do, I will double tap on my background again and, and keep moving this image to the right. So I have more white space in there. And you see now it is way easier to read this entire line of text right here. So I'm pretty happy about this. Next, I'm going to be grouping my elements here on the order now button. So for this, I'm going to long press on the frame behind my word. And then you will see this message popping up. So one element is selected. I'm going to select the other one by tapping on it as well. Now I have two elements selected and it's time for me to group using this group button. So grouping and now I can move this block as only one block. So I will make it closer so that the, it's kind of uh, the same distance between this line and this line of text right here. Very good. So I have this now. Uh, what I will do is to keep working on the second page. So this is going to be the second page of my website. And I want to write here, not join our online classes, but rather uh, how, how it works. Three easy steps. OK, so very easy. Three easy steps to order your box. The first one is that you will have to choose your meals. And 
there you go, how it works, three easy steps, choose your meals, create the perfect box and get convenient weekly deliveries. Just reading that a second time so there is no typos. And to be consistent, I'm also going to change the background image of this page by simply tapping on the background and then using the replace button. So replace. Similarly, I will go to my photo tab right here. So I will search for box of veggies. Let's see what comes up. All right, so I have a lot of nice images here. I just need to find something that will be consistent with my first image, but also leave me some white space so we can read my text pretty clearly. So for here, I'm not going to customize all this text, but I'm just going to change maybe the name of the business here, Healthy Bites. Let's call this Black Box. So now we have our three pages, right? Let's have a look. By tapping on the overview button, we have our first home page, second page and third page. All right, so this is almost ready to go. But before we publish this as a website, I want to actually make this a clickable or a tappable website um, that my customers can actually use. So when they will tap on this order now button, I want them to be redirected to a place where they can actually place an order. So Canva gives you this opportunity to add an hyperlink on your buttons or on any elements uh, of your designs actually. But for this exercise, uh, I have grouped together the text box and the shape behind it. So now this is considered as only one element. So by tapping on this element and going uh, through my menu right here, scrolling it uh, to the right, I will find a button that says link. So I'm going to tap on that button and now I can insert a link here to any website that I want. So I'm going to paste a link to a website that delivers vegetables here uh, for the sake of this exercise. There we go. Just tap on done when you are ready. And then now we should have a clickable button right here. This is wonderful. The last thing we need to do now is to publish this design as a website. So in order to do this, I invite you to check out this button here in the upper right corner, the one with the arrow pointing up. This is our publish button. So when I tap here, the first option that, that I will see, because I have chosen a mobile first website type of document will be the website option. So I'm going to tap on website. And here I will have one more option to select. So you can choose the style of website that you want. And we see by tapping on this little arrow that we have four different types. Presentation, scrolling, classic navigation and standard. Personally, I like the scrolling websites because this is the kind of websites we are used to on a mobile. So I'm going to tap on scrolling and then open website. And there we go. We have our website. I can scroll down and you see everything looks super good on my mobile phone. So there we go. You have your first uh, Canva made website. It's super clean. And of course, I want to show you that this button is actually clickable. So I'm going to tap on it right now and you see it opens the URL that I set for my button. So this is wonderful. And this is what I wanted to show you in this video. Think mobile first. It is likely that most of your audience will be viewing your website for the first time from their mobile device. So let's make sure we give them an amazing first experience.